Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell's Double AC2. You never lose with Double AC2s. Well, today is going to be, I think, the first episode, maybe, that Jenkins is not going to really be involved in. So, uh, unfortunately, he's not back from uh, the last mission. I can't afford to bring him back for this one, which is it's kind of sad, but... It is the way it is. Uh, let's go to the command center. We know what we're taking today. We're going to go after this guy right here. Wicked Oppression. It's the uh, well, well regarded mercenary outfit. Um, so they've got uh, a single well armed lance. So let's negotiate this. Going to go full salvage on it. See if we can get some good stuff out of this. This should give us our financial report, hopefully, unless we get pasted. In which case it won't. Um, I'm going to bring Junker because I want to overheat some people. And Scooter's going to need to stay down here because he's going to be piloting something. Uh, you got hard case, which is stability. So let's put you on the Centurion, I think. So we've got the Centurion. We've got the Stormcrow. We've got the Stealth and the Talos. And we're going to bring the Cloudbuster. So uh, Venom is in the Cloudbuster. We'll leave Junker there. Road Rash is in Stealth. Vision, I believe, was in the Stormcrow. And it looks like it's going to be the talented Mr. Ripley. Piloting the Talos. All right, let's hope we don't get pasted. Command interface initiated. All right, well, last time we fought a single well-armed lance, we took a pasting. Lost two pilots, so... Not a happy climate for battle, Max. Not a happy climate for anybody. All right. Uh, generally, you start here. I want to pull this approach. Looks like they got somebody back here. If I set up up here, though, they're going to have, like... I don't want them to have range sight on me, you know? So let's start. Oh, it's tough. Let's go in here. Sent Storm Crow. Stealth. Talos. Cloudbuster. Yeah. I think that'll do it. They should be a little bit spread out. Well, they are kind of stealthy. Moving around three first, I guess, eh? Sure, give them free movement. Why not? All right. I'm here. We need some kind of eyes on, Ben. Roger, Skipper. Kicking in. That's no kind of eyes on. Not even sensors on. There might be somebody up here. Receiving you. I thought it sounded like a vehicle. Moving over there. I'm going to get right up on this cliff. As bad as that sounds. Oh. Really? I don't think these guys have got, uh... Engaging with target. Peel a stick or anything. We'll find out soon enough. Yep. Get down in the trees. Acknowledge. I really hope it's not garbage. Standing by. Uh, 
There we go. Going full throttle. See what our chance to hit is. That's actually not bad. I'm not going to put mines down over there as much as I want to. You know what? No, we're going to keep hill. So let's do it. Ooh, the AC hit. I think we killed one of them with that AC hit. I'm out of SRN. Because they had only 160 HP, so... Oh, we almost did. Okay. Commander. Good damage. Let's go here. I don't trust Rapid. being, like, partially Gold behind this guy. With the way this game has been back targeting stuff. Especially with a partial chance to hit. Ah, uh, let's go chaff. Got it. No laser hits. A little bit of chaff. What's up, boss? Okay, Mr. Ripley. Aye aye. Gonna go sensor there. And the rest. Ah, oh, fuck, really? Sure. I mean, I don't expect this to go 10 turns of firing, so. We'll see what happens. Plus, we got Hydra ammo if we need it. Ah, I wonder what they have. Looks like an assassin. I'm showing minor damage. Could be an executioner, though. Like, it looks like an assassin. Right? Two weapons. This might have been a good mission for the uh, primary lance, but we couldn't wait. Oh, there's somebody over there. Tandem. SRM tandem, too. Rabid coyote, eh? Okay, that could be interesting. What's up, boss? Affirmative. Let's move into position. So there's one more back here somewhere. That's actually pretty good there. We'll take this shot. Hopefully we'll land something here. So that's a 55 tonner. Firing a full salvo. Okay, got the chaff on him. What do you need? I need you to set somebody on fire. Not this turn though. Maybe next turn. Get her behind those rocks. You wait right there. Standing by. Dude. If I don't move, they're shooting me. They're gonna shoot me anyway, but... Let's get into some trees. Wow, it's really bad. That's really bad. Still the same, huh? 16... 21, 14. Nobody's really overheating. Let's just go with Let's just fire this. Alright, five points. Yes, Commander. In the hands of the right pilot, that mech is going to be deadly. Good to go. Just need to get a right pilot in there. Okay, let's get up here. Alright, let's go with uh, sensors, QS, and some Hydra. 
Let's fire the double AC. Ah, man, that's such a low chance to hit. I can't have it misfire. I got two shots and then it's done, right? Locked on target. Two misfires and, and then it's gone permanently. All right, a little bit of hydro on him. Although this, he's not standing in fire, which is kind of sucky. That's behind my guy. That's better. Location confirmed. Okay, I'm gonna turn this up so I don't forget later, and we'll fire these. Oof! Nice shot. Yes, Commander. Pull back into the what trees. Drop our instability, get a bit of height. Get some tree armor. That's actually pretty good on this guy. Leave the Thunderbolt. We might get a better shot a little later. Okay, he took a little bit of damage. Yeah, I don't think he's regening. Can't tell, but I'm pretty sure he's not. Yep. Yep, let's find out where you go. OD, is it is it an Omni version? Assassin 2. Is that way more? The fact that he's got ace pilot is pretty nice. Although moving into there is not a good idea. Yep. Ooh. Let's go right there. Going full throttle. That puts us in a pretty good spot, I think. It's gonna force this guy to do some movement anyway. No flamers on, but he's standing in fire, so that helps. That helps a little bit. All right, Bubba, what are you doing? Oh, you barely even moved. Reporting internal damage. Yeah, he's got ten. I'm just waiting for him to jam. I need a solid red line. Let's go here. Roger that. The only guy I'm worried about is this guy right now because he's got that uh, ability to damage internals with it with the uh, tandems. I'm gonna go with the thunderbolt. It's a pretty good chance to hit. Engaging. Thunderbolt landed. Okay, good damage. Waiting for orders. Heading out. Wow. Uh, really? Ah, fuck it. Just shoot him. Taking the shot. Worried about splash on my own guy. Because of the spread. Okay, that's not bad. He didn't really hit our own guy. Commander. I'm so I'm always so terrified of hitting my own guys now. Back up a little bit. 
Let me go back to the same guy. Yeah, that's pretty nice. SRM's out of range, we'll stay with the chaff. Okay, nice. Main weapon landed. Standing by. Confirm. Okay, hopefully that's enough of a target for that uh, assassin next turn, or this turn. Target locked. Next turn, I guess it is. Nothing. No love on that strike. That guy's nice and toasty, Ready though. Man. I was hoping to wind this rack up on this assassin now, too, but... He's got me under his thumb here. Let's just hammer this guy. Okay, good amount of stability. Let's see what they do. They're both going 17 here, and then we get a free run. Yeah, he's not having a good day, that guy. Now we gotta figure out how we're gonna hit this assassin. That's the other thing. Talos runs so cool that you can fire that plasma cannon all day at him if you want. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, he didn't move. Standing by. Why would you not move? Like that makes no sense. Moving to position. That makes no sense whatsoever. But uh sure. SRM2 Valiant, snub nose PPC. And a plasma rifle, which I'm assuming is attached to his hands. Firing all which I'm not sure how he's doing that because I don't think assassins have two hands. In fact, I'm pretty sure they do. I think the right arm only goes down to the lower arm actuator. Standing by. I could be wrong. I mean, we'll find out at the end of the match, I'm sure, but... Uh, On my way. Yo, what's up? Here we go. No flames on, unfortunately. That was the one thing I was hoping for. You. Hey, uh, this guy didn't move. We don't often get a chance to do this. This is probably the best chance we're going to get to hit with this thing, too, so... Uh... Let's go EMP. Sure. All right. Receiving you. Not as joyful as I was expecting, but uh, if you're not going to move, neither are we. Hammer him. Oh, good night. There's your fireworks for you. One less target. I'm yeah. out of short range missiles. That guy ate it with the uh, AC hits. I think it's just these. Th no, there's one other guy somewhere. I bet you it's another friggin' uh, battle armor someplace. We'll take the forty percent. Can we missed? I'm out of long range missiles. Waiting for orders. Just going for the best chance to hit. Nice. Let's hit him hard. Oh, there it is there. Oh, it's a Uziel. That's actually not a bad lance. I'm here. Let's 
Said it before, I'll say it again. They got a pretty good lance. All right, let's give it to him. All right, we got one on this time. Good to go. Let's give it to him. I copy. Man, you couldn't hit with the AC, huh? Ready for orders. Uh, gonna save these for the Uzio. Let's turn that off. I copy. God, this Talos really is useless. <laughs> I hate to say it. With the exception of the rockets, he's really not uh, doing much. Engaging target. Got to rethink that, I think. Negative damage. Well, we're not going to keep him up Negative for much longer. Damage. It'll be swapped out with the uh, the bushwhacker shortly, anyway. So. Standing by. All right, dude. Not the best chance to see that guy. Let's drop the. Uh, Let's do this. Yeah, we dropped the rotary for now. Drop some recoil. Scored a critical hit. I wonder what that Uziel has. Guess we'll find out here in a minute. Here he comes. Plasma cannons. MRM-10. 640. Ready for orders. That is not enough armor, my friend. Oh my god, really? He... he can't not take the shot. I gotta take that shot. Roger that. that was a gift shot. He's tagged. Aye, aye. Why is this pilot so fast? Oh shit, I can't get to... Do we want to go after the battle armor? Wow, really? Is there a way I can get down to this guy without uh, going through the fire, though? Not really, but Acknowledge. this guy's running from a friggin' fire truck, so let's just keep the pressure up. I know it's not me he's hiding from, but technically it looks like he is. Ooh, 39 heat. Nice. Commander. Okay, can you get a back shot, Uziel? Christ, you don't even need to move. He gave you the... He gave it to you. Target lock on enemy ship. He just gave it to you. Here comes some machine guns. Gotta watch out for head hits. Waiting for orders. Let's just take it again. Firing full complement on enemy. Can't even finish it up. Pull back for the solid Order green. Received. Oh, double AC5 again for the win. 
And I think when it sees a when it sees an I'll open area, it just kind of goes goes to town. I'm receiving you. Didn't want to waste that guy like he did, but we had to do something. He had to go away. Okay, not too bad. That hit something good. Ready for orders. So once again, this is turning into a sad mission. I, I don't. We gotta crank up the difficulty. Hopefully, once we get out of this this space, doesn't matter what we go with here. Just crank it up. Hopefully, we get some hits. Might as well throw that on too. Why not? Well, that's not bad damage. He's still alive, though. Target's taken a critical hit. I'm out of LRM. Hopefully, we can get this guy to bail out. Ooh, what did he hit me with? Orders? Tandems or something? Probably. Well, he was gonna give it to you. Take it. Target lock on enemy trail. We still have one fire truck part. If the worst comes to be out of that. Locked on. We are on. Wow, really? Just gonna shoot under his armpits, are you? Commander? Um. Uh, this guy. Good angle. Fire it. Couldn't even get one, huh? That's a miss. That is. Standing by. All right, shooter, the scooter. He's giving you his back. Go to town. Putting one in the back. Putting a bunch in the back. Holy crap. ATM 12 pirate. Take that. I'm out of long range missiles. Okay, we got misfire on the uh Oh yes, that's beautiful. At least we got some good salvage out of this one. I mean, we'll find out shortly, but I mean, I'm hoping it's good salvage. It's still not enough. Solid connection on that one. I'm out of SRMs. Not even gonna bail out, huh? He's not even gonna bail out. His mech. He's not even gonna bail out. Wow, nothing. Not even one, huh? That's a miss. That is a miss. Hopefully we get something here. Target acquired. Nope. Let's drag this out as much as we can. I'm here. We might as well use up all that ammo that we don't need. Acknowledge. Well, machine gun hits. Reporting critical hit. Ready for orders. That guy's got like zero armor, and he's just barely panicked. Let's go this route. Confirmed. Nothing. It's just Receiving so you. frustrating. Better leave that off. Roger. Oh, we're almost at a quick sell ammo. Oh, one hit. Jesus Christ, really? Do you even have a weapon? Waiting for orders. Why are you still existing? Acknowledge. Tag hit. At least that's something. Ready for orders. Maybe we can tag hit him to death. Wow, four shots. Uh, I, I don't want to risk damaging that at this part of the battle. Firing. There you go. Finally. Jesus Christ. Target eliminated. All right, there we go. 
Mission successful. All right, well, I feel better about moving away from this area now. There's nothing really here for us. Um, at one and a half and two skulls. I mean, we've had a couple of missions that were relatively dangerous, but those were like pirates and stuff, so, you know, not much we can really do. Four kills for the Talos, or three kills for the Talos. One bailout, which is kind of nice. So, full rabid coyote if we want it. 55 tons. It's a possibility. What do we got? Two ballistic, three, three missile. Or we could take the ATM Pirate 12. LRM, MRM, SRM ammo. Has a jam chance. Recoil of three. Seven tons. Pretty, pretty weighty. This is what killed us, is these pirate machine guns, because they do extra heat damage. Hmm. Plasma cannons, tandem rocket 20. Active camouflage. Combat shield. Who had that? Might have been the rabid coyote. Minus 10% damage taken. Hmm. That actually might be nice for the... Uh oh, I think we need hands for that, don't we? It doesn't say, but I think you need a hand to wield it. I was thinking about putting it in the uh, avatar, but the avatar doesn't have hands. Although it doesn't say here that you need a hand. I'm assuming you would, though. Hmm. Radical compact heats and kit. It's one of those ones you got to activate, though. Vibro sword. Yeah, I think all this is on the rabid coyote. I think we just take that and then see what we get off of it. Although MRM acid ammo. Oh, there's some nice stuff down here. SRM acid. I think this was all on... I think all these were on the uh, rabid coyote. Actually, I'm pretty sure they were. So this is the Omni version, right? Yeah, it's the Omni version. Wow, 13 hard points. See, that, that, like, that assassin is worth it. I could probably disassemble mine and reassemble this one. But I think we go this route. Yeah, physical weapon damage and stability. Physical weapon act. So this is like a melee mech, basically. Let's take that. And then see what we get off of it. Okay, let's confirm that. So we got the assassin part. Oh, we lost the fire truck. Damn. Well, we can, we can reassemble it one last time. Infiltrator part. We got one new zeal part. Nice. Tandem rockets. That's not bad. Active camouflage. Omnipod lower arm. Always useful. Powered sensors are useful. HE ammo. MRM half tons. Acid. Wow, we got all the, we got all the ammo that I wanted too. Oh, man. The SRM half tons. Might be nice on our our, our quick sell commando. Maybe pull off the inferno and put acid in tandems. Although the inferno is really nice on that. There's no way we can squeak extra weight in, is there? I don't think so. Yeah, well we get it back. Thirty nine thousand, which isn't too bad. So we should make our financial report with the money we made. Let's have a quick look here. We should be pretty close, I think. Yeah, we're good for the financial report, and I think our jump costs might be covered. I think it's only two jumps, because we're jumping out of here back to Marion Space. Manage our tasks a little better. Actually, that's pretty darn good. I'm going to get the mechs back. I'm going to go through everything, I think, too, before, the next, before we take the next mission. Um, just to t kind of tweak the loadouts a bit. I haven't really been, like, I mean, we've been acquiring some gear, but I haven't really been paying too much attention to what we have and stuff. So I'm going to tweak the loadouts a bit. And what I might do, I mean, we've tested the quick sell stuff, um, is for the main Lance build to shy a little bit away from quick sell. Um, and keep it in, or sorry, the second, secondary Lance build. 
keep it away from quick sell and just keep the quick sell stuff if I can in the main lance which is all quick sell mechs I think we'll I think I'll try that because we have we don't have a lot of it right that's the problem is we don't have a lot of it so I can't really explore it when, when I get the chance to drop something in I will and test it out I like when we get the when we get a chance to d test out the double 20 in a mech we'll go ahead and do that just don't have the ability just yet to do that we don't have the ammo for it so um, hopefully when we jump we find some ammo like there's some in the store I don't know maybe maybe not we'll see when we get there uh, I like to get pick up some um, heavy rifle ammo as well so we can get the, the uh, heavy rotary rifle going because I'm interested to see how that works out uh, let's go to the mech bay real quick though now the rabid coyote um, we're gonna just bring it in and sell it it's only got like a handful of um, hard points like the bushwhacker is like three bullet three ballistic two laser and eight missile it's definitely worth putting together but the rabid like it's two ballistic and three missile it's like pales in comparison to the bushwhacker and technically it's not even as good as the talos I don't think I mean maybe because it is five tons heavier but we've also got like the ability to put together a couple of hunchbacks and stuff. So, and one of these is the laser vomit version too, which might be a, a worthwhile putting together. Although, you know, I've never played with a rabid coyote. Let's see what it's got on it, though. It's the whole reason why we took it. Excellent. Because maybe we do repair it and use it. So what does she look like? Doesn't look like it got came with a lot, although the combat shield survived. Both arms are gone. It's interesting. You know, we've never used one of these before. Oh, the ATM Pirate uh, MRM Acid Ammo, LRM Mag Pulse Ammo Half Load. The core stayed intact. So that's really not like I mean it's a good melee mech. The vibro sword and the and the combat shield are in, uh, in, integral. The active camouflage is integral. Or is it? No. Oh, it needs electronic countermeasures. Wait, how did that? What? The hell just happened there? So how is this? Is this mech broken? Because how is this in the center torso if, <coughs> excuse me. Now I didn't have an ultralight gyro. So there's nothing really that I can see here. If you guys can see something that I'm missing, by all means let me know. The light engine wouldn't have done it. Bloodsport fire control system? No. So what would have given us Yeah, none are free slots. Oh, that's it, the Radical Compact Heatsink Kit. Because it pulls out the engine. Th You're right. Okay, that makes sense. I mean, we wouldn't be running with a supercharger anyway. What does that have to repair? 500,000? Can I get 500,000 together? I don't think I can. Is it worth keeping? Too ballistic. What would I run? What do we got for weight? Not a lot. Well, with this, not a lot. That's seven tons. So it would have to be machine guns. We've got two hands, though. I guess we need it for the sword and the shield, though. So... Yeah, I'm shocked this guy didn't do any meleeing. We've got a mag shot we could use. 
We do have the, well, we have a light machine gun array and a regular machine gun array. This is light LMG ammo. This is MG ammo. I'd rather have both of the same. Do we have... We got a half load of light machine gun ammo and a half load of regular machine gun ammo. So... That's a possibility. Is putting a machine gun array on each arm. How much did they weigh? That's two tons. It's probably the same, right? So four tons. Five tons with the ammo. Leaves us three tons left over. Which we might want to add a ton of armor. So two tons. And then something in the, to fill in these. Maybe a couple of, I don't know, rockets or something? Like rocket... Rocket tens are how much? Half a ton each. We got a tandem 20. It's one and a half tons. I mean, there's the mine dispenser as well. Sandery rocket 20s. We could fit one of those. Or a tandem rocket 20 and a regular at 10. Or a pair of 10s and something else. Like a heat, uh, heat sinks won't be needed. Oh, maybe they will be though. How much is this heat? 18, probably. Well, we pull out the ATM and put something else in because we have to put ammo in for this anyway, which we don't have the weight for. Unless we just put two rocket 10s here and some ammo. And then it's really underpowered. It's got the ATM-12 with any long-range rockets that we can put in or long-range missiles. And then the rest is hope that we can close with what, 5-7 movement speed? Fuck, I hate melee mechs that just have no speed. Like, why put together a, a 5, even with a supercharger? It's just, like, the enemy's going to see it coming and they're just going to focus it down and kill it. Before it can get even close. Like, you need at least, like, 6-9 makes it dangerous, you know? 6-9 with a mask makes it makes it really dangerous. Especially with the Vibro Sword and a Combat Shield. Right? You don't need to wait for anything else. Just put the bigger bigger core in there and then just go to just kill stuff. Maybe put a bunch of SRMs in and a couple of machine guns or something. Even MMLs. MML5 is what, three tons? Yeah. Fluid guns even. Like we got what, one support hard point? Yeah. Not even that. Maybe flamers. Do we have a bigger core? I don't think we do. Do we have a 350? We might have a 350. Wouldn't that be something? No, we got 280. It's the best we got, unfortunately. It's not really helping us out. I think that'll add one... It'll be a 5.8 now. No, not even a 5.8. Yeah, it's a tough proposition. So this gives us case, which I, I think you kind of need on this mech. With it being ballistic and missile, you, you want to have case on it. The active camouflage is nice. What's this giving us? We need oh we need to put an ECM in here too. So we still don't have the weight. Plus ten heat when active. Thirty five percent mimetic stealth. Charges decay by one for every hex moved. Every three hexes moved. So if it's sitting still. You're probably not going to see it. And then you want to pop it off and then rush somebody. Yeah, it would be nice to have like a stealth sniper that could just like be hidden 
generate no heat and hammer somebody with like a, like a headshot kind of weapon from range and then when they got close enough you could just turn off the uh, stealth and, and go in for melee I mean it's an option we need to find I don't know what that would be though Yeah, I mean, we could go the... I mean, I don't know. I got to think about it. I mean, we don't, we, don't, we don't have the weight, but the Ultra 20 would be devastating on this thing. Oh, man, even the Midran, Midran AC-20. So we got the AP Goss rifle. Uses mag shot ammo. And a mag shot. So I mean, we could put those in each arm because they're light enough. We got mag shot ammo; it doesn't explode. And then we could go with heavy pharaoh to give us a little extra weight. Although, is it going to be better than having the case? Actually, the heavy pharaoh gives us two. I could put case in each torso and still gain weight that way. Having the light engine would be nice too, but then we're at a 1.5. So minus that. Still, okay, we need an ECM. I'm just, sorry, I'm playing here and I probably shouldn't be. I should just end the episode, but it's just interesting to me to what could be done with this thing. That's not going to, I don't have an ECM, do I? That's probably going to work, but it's not ideal. So if we did that, just for the sake of argument, let's say we did those two. We have mag shot ammo here somewhere. Yeah, we got lots of mag shot ammo. 50 shots is plenty. Let's drop it in there for now. And then let's say we do, because these things generate zero heat pretty much too, right? Three and one. Because we don't have we don't have a double heat sink kit for this thing, right? So we have to be careful on heat. But we could go with where are you here? Like a six holly, four holly. Are these things six? Yeah, fifteen. That's not that bad. And then stay away from the recoil. Go with the four, go with an SRM 14. And then we need two tons of ammo probably, but if we mix it up a bit, like we could take acid ammo, probably on this side. And in Inferno maybe? To heat up the guy so they can't run away. <laughs> right? So he can't get away from you. Maybe. Or we rely on somebody else heating them up. And we go with acid and standard SRM to do damage. And that still gives us like a, a crap ton of weight we could do stuff with. So that would be maxing out the armor. All right, so we would do that just for the sake of argument, leaving us five tons left over. For what? I mean, we could pull out this so we wouldn't need this anymore. Put that back to where it was, just about. Got the active camouflage added here. So is that the same as this? Minus 40% visibility. 
10 heat we got one five heat when active 10 percent weapon heat generated when active it's the same So that this allows us to it eats up a slop and it allows us to use the clan armor and we don't need it for in here at all. So this is reinforced structure too, right? So bonus internal structure points, which is probably a good thing. Make it a little harder to kill, I guess. So the cooling is still like fine the only time we're gonna have a problem is if people overheat us you could add the laser AMS six heat per activation five heat per activation Yeah, I mean the laser AMS is great if you've got lots of sinking, but if you don't have lots of sinking, it could be give you a lot of problems. So maybe it's not these uh maybe it is the machine gun arrays instead. No, nah, because we don't have to wait for it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a possibility. It just seems really underpowered. Unless I can melee with it, unless it can actually get into range. And I need a better ECM. And hopefully more melee gear or a mask or something along that line. And then we would need to get a either a lighter or the clan engine in here. And then even still, it's... It's barely, like, unless it melees, it's barely doing more damage than the commando we have. Like, marginally more than the commando for 55 tons. It really needs speed. Because, I mean, let's face it, you've seen the Talos. Even the Centurion moves the same speed as this thing. And it, it can't even get in to range a lot of the times to do stuff. Yeah, it's frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. Sorry, it took me so long to figure this out. But, I mean, we have possibilities. I'm, I'm open. I mean, let me know what you think. Like, I don't know what else I would do. With, with what I have, anyway. I don't know what else I would do with this. Got a couple tons free. But really, I think it should be electronics to keep it even more protected. And if we can get, I mean, a mask would be three tons probably. Maybe three, maybe three and a half. I'm sure we can try and make room for it or get the engine or switch out the reinforce to like, I mean, maybe we do put the uh, heavy ferro back in. Or we can go from reinforce to endo. I can't go with both. It's one or the other. I think in that case I would probably keep the reinforced and go with the uh, heavy pharaoh and then a bit of case I'm still playing I'm sorry <laughs> I know I said I was gonna end the episode I'm still playing here I, I, I could I mean if I had all the uh, all the gear available to me I could play for like days just making doing mech builds it's like what? That's what like it was. I mean, everyone who's played pen and paper knows this, knows the uh, the adrenaline rush of developing a new Mac. It's like you just spend ages just coming up with trying to get everything to fit just perfectly, you know. So with that being done, what's your range? Your range is 480, 100% crit chance. AP Gauss rifle is a 50% crit chance at 480. But it's got three shots.
That's probably better. Because if we open a, up a mech, you'd want to have more projectiles with less chance to crit than one projectile with a greater chance to crit. This is a recoil of one, two. Does this have any recoil? Yeah, recoil of one. So we would take that one out. Fortunately, we got to keep the full ton of mag shot ammo. And then we could probably put in the uh, light machine gun array, probably. Range is 240, 240, 8 times 3, heat 6, wait, damage 8 times 3, really? What's the advantage, this, this is a bonus chance to hit. Four ammunition per shot. One in six shots. Oh, I see. Right. So if I fire six shots, I'm using 24 rounds. Which would make sense, kind of. I think if the range is identical, I'd go with the damage over the better accuracy, I think. Yeah, well, I don't know. I would probably go with the accuracy, I think, over the damage for the first little bit because of the way my pilots are. And then if I was going to keep it, I would swap it out. Right, so we go with the light, light machine gun ammo. And go that route. We got two... Tons left. So if we go with the laser AMS, this is one and a half tons, right? This is one. We'd have to add a heat sink. Actually, I think we have to add one now, don't we? Because this would be, if I, this is six heat for three shots. I think it's 12 heat for Six heat for three shots, twelve heat for six shots. So if we double if we fully crank it up, and then we got six, twelve, twenty-one, thirty-three, plus one, thirty-four. No, thirty-six. So we may want to drop two heat sinks in this. Even though it's not telling us here, it's thirty thirty. But it's, if we fire this thing full out, it may be better to drop two heat sinks in at this point. I always use my damage ones first and then just repair them. Um, that way if I'm taking them out later, and because you can't repair them in here unfortunately, so you're better off putting them on the Mac, repairing them, and then taking them off. Because then if you do decide to sell them, you get full value for them. Any, if you have any damage components, if you've got the time and you've got a mech that's just sitting in your bay, drop the damage component in the mech. Whether or not the mech is going to be viable for combat or not is irrelevant. Just repair it and then take it out again. Because then you'll get more money for it if you sell it. Now, if the repair cost is too great, then don't bother. But like for heat sinks, I wouldn't do it because there's like no real value to it. You probably spend more in repair than you would um, than the difference between the damaged sale price and the regular sale price. But for bigger stuff, for sure. Um, yeah, I think that's probably a build if I was going to go with it, with what I have. I don't have 70. I mean, I got the money, but I can't do it. Yeah, let's keep it around. You know me and Melee, it's like, it's off again, on again. Either you're, like, nothing has been as good. You know what it is? I got spoiled way, way back when we did the Night Witches. And we had that Black Knight with the mask system. I can't remember if we had a 400 core in that thing, or was it 375 core? 
all the melee mods had no real weapons per se, but it, everything was just melee. And we could like clear half the battlefield. As long as there was no trees, we could clear half the battlefield and using our whatever melee skill it was, do like 400 damage in one shot. It was insane. I remember that mech. That was so beautiful. It was always disappointing when you would run in and attack and then like take somebody's arm and torso but not be able to kill them, you know? Because I relied on getting those, those, especially in the late game when everything was like, the enemy was really tough. You relied on getting those one-shot kills. And if you couldn't get it, it was like, then the guy's just a sitting duck, right? Ah, man. I can't even remember the pilot's name, too. Shit, I can't remember. Was it Red? No. Red Comet? No. Something like that, though. And I think the two series I was running at the time, I think she was like the number two pilot of the number of kills in the series. Anyway, it's late. I'm going to bed. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please don't feel, feel free to subscribe and go get some, go get yourself some quick, quick sell gear and test it out. Until next time, we'll see you later. <laughs>